Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Peglin. Now there was a big Peglin patch this week, which unfortunately I didn't catch on the the date it was released. I think it was released on the 28th of April. I was feeling a bit unwell. I know, what a surprise. Kel Surprise, I was feeling unwell. Uh, I saw the patch, I wanted to check it out, but I've only been able to get around to it uh, literally this second. And I say it's a big patch and I'm not, you know, understating this. There are two new classes. There is the Roundrel. The notes here say, survives through cunning, treachery, and luck. Dispatching foes with orbs and relics that rely on well-placed crits and strategic status effects. And the Baladin. Or I guess more like Baladin, because it's based on, you know, a paladin. Uh, dominates enemies with orbs and relics that focus on unbreakable defense and powerful attacks. Man, adding classes to this game, just to, you know, mix up the stats a little bit, Sounds fantastic. Great, great plan, honestly. There's also some new achievements which have unlocks associated with them. I think it's three achievements, two of which have new unlocks. There's some new orbs, new relics. Doesn't mention specifically what they are. New status effects is now Balution and Ballwark. I like the play on that. A new Minds boss, Theos or Thesaurus, the Voracious Dragon. There's a new encounter in the Mines. There's a, an overhaul to the graphics of the castle section, which will be interesting. And then a few other smaller things. And man, I wanted to, you know, check them out. So here we are. How do I select a new class? Uh, do I have to reduce my crucible back down? Because, god damn it, I will reduce my crucible back down. Do I have to go back to one? Hello? <laughs> Uh, Peglin. Peglin's a jack of all trades with access to almost all orbs and relics. Flexibility and adaptability are the keys to the Peglin's victory. Starting re relic, the Peglin Tuition. Battle rewards and chests contain an additional option to choose from. Oh, do I have to unlock this class? Do I have to unlock the new classes? Because that'll be a little bit annoying. Hmm. Oh, was it on the main menu that I had to change? No. All right, let me just click play and see what I get offered. Would you like a boost? I mean, I would do, but I would also like to change my class. Perhaps I have to win a game first. You know what? I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> a quick pause. Okay, I, I had a little Google. It's not as simple as just winning a run. So apparently the unlocks and they've just they've put a post out for you know, saying they're gonna fix this in the, the week to make it more clear. You have to achieve two things to unlock the new classes. That's what it actually meant with the achievements. So to unlock one of them I have to stack 50 poison on an enemy, and the other one is to get the hundred ball ball work on myself. So I guess this episode is gonna be unlocking the new classes, which means I need to focus on poisoning people, which I assume was the the ball Lucian stat. And Bulwark. So let's have a look at these. Uh, bomb is not really going to be great. Because I want to stack poison unless there's a poison bomb synergy. Uh, I mean, I might just take the Strange Brew then. It's not the best option. I'm still on Crucible 1. Just as a reminder. So this shouldn't be too bad. Anyway, we should be able to get through this. Pretty comfortable. We have a Strat now. Okay, so this should be no problem, right? We play on, like, Crucible 13. I missed the crit immediately. But look, the enemy's considerably weaker. We have, oh my god, two crits and two refreshes. Do you remember those heady days? But we'll, we'll speed run through this. And see if we can start getting some of the new things at the very least. If I can't see the new classes. Should probably refresh the board here. I'll take that. Trying to earn a little bit of extra gold as well along the way. Uh, probably don't need the crit here. The gold is more important right now. All right, I didn't do 11 damage. I'm done. The crit did not matter there. I had to do three damage. Did it hurt my pride a little bit that I missed it? Yeah, okay, sure it did. And I'm probably going to now take damage. Screw it, it's fine. We have 100 health. 
That's what it's there for. Health is a resource. Let's expend it. Great shot there from me. I was trying to bounce it back into the center for the crit. Okay, this is a big hit. Very nice. Uh, we might get lucky with the refresh here. It's very, very unlikely, though. I think I'm going down the left side. Yeah. Ow, please, my health. All right. One more down. And hopefully a crit in a nice place. It is in a pretty good place. Damn, didn't get stuck in the little well. Come on, me. Listen, that's just unlucky. <laughs> okay, we have a little bit of muscle memory to build back up. Oh, okay, here we go. Bolution Sting applies Bolution 2. Each turn enemies with Bolution lose 10 HP for each Bolution. And the cleave up. Very weak regular attack. Massive damage on a crit. And attacks pierce an enemy. The Zen stones. The echo orb is the same. We have to take the Bolution Sting then, right? Give me Bolution Sting and we will continue. And have a look at the map. Okay, so there's early shops. Some early treasure chests as well. Uh, will I have 50 gold before that shop on the right? I probably will. I'll definitely have it by here. So I think we'll go and try and earn some more money. The greed. The greed! I'll just take the simple route here. We'll get some more gold, take a shop. Hopefully it'll give me more pollution options and we'll go from there. Huge early damage. So I have to set this up to 50, I think it said. Probably more viable than a boss, right? Because they have bigger health pools. Ah, there it is, the pollution. And then they take 20 damage. That seems pretty strong, honestly. Like if I can copy that orb. And I assume the upgrades will put more pollution on it. So you're not dead because the pollution is now Removed its stacks. You are dead to the bomb damage, though. And I've left your corpse in a particularly annoying place. For now, let's just get the bombs ready for more killing. Get a bit of gold. So you're going to be on 50 health on the refresh. You're going to hit me as well, I think. Yep. And this bomb should kill you. Oh my god, I forgot bombs do 50 damage now. Crucible 1. No more pollution here, but let's see what the upgrade is on you. So you become pollution 4. I mean, we have to do it for the, the class unlock. I'll take it. And you look the same. Okay. I don't think I need a heal just yet. And we want to go left. We want to go right. Actually, it doesn't matter, but we probably prefer to go right. But obviously, we have to do it the greediest way possible. Okay, some more pollution. So the crit won't increase the pollution either. It's just a flat effect. Okay, well, let's unlock the bombs. We don't want to set them all off just yet. But if you set one or two off, I can live with that. Pop. Right, free the bombs. I have to change the color of these slimes as well. And they're kind of like translucent now. I don't know if they always work. They look very slightly different. But that might just be my memory. Anyway, let's get some gold. Ah, I was hoping not to kill there, but whatever. Ooh, the Ballard grants one spinette after attacking. 
interesting, and the best of fence deal one damage for each stack of bulwark, and the uh, arc accentuate grants one must circle when fired, but does four damage to self. Holy moly, there is a lot of orbs. Again, I think I'm going to focus just on poison right now, and I'm going to save as much money as I can, as the shop is incoming. I'll take an extra three gold there. Ooh, upgrade an orb for free. Yes, please. I will take this to Pollution 6. Thank you very much. Don't screw me here, game. Thank you. <laughs> okay, what have we got? Pocket Sand, I always... Well, I say I always like. I like the blind build. It's probably the weakest of the blind things because it requires you being hit by an enemy. Not the worst thing, though. What the hell is this? The Signal Boost Orb. This orb is affected by Must Circle, Spinette, and Balance two times. That sounds busted. The X Acrobate. Increase hit enemies debuffs by one. Can target any enemy. Interesting. So that's probably going to work on Poison as well. Uh, refreshes the board in every reload. Increased healing and heal to you every time the board is refreshed. Okay, I'm going to go full out for this poison. Unlock. Give me the Exaco bait. <laughs> I guess it's like Exasperate or something along those lines to play on that. And I'll remove an orb. Let's get rid of one of the stones from my deck. And I've like the, the healing cookie. But we should be good enough not to need, need that, right? Right, man. Every patch this game receives, it makes it so much better. The forge is hot and ready to smelt, yet oddly unattended. You think you could use it, but your little peckling hands aren't made to handle the heat. So I can upgrade a random orb, but lose five HP, or use my satchel to scoop up the forge to get a special relic. This is a new event. I will take the special relic, please. Whenever an orb is added to your deck, upgrade it and lose 4 HP. That sounds fun as hell. Okay, we need some way of healing. I should have read that as well, sorry. I missed some flavor text. And I like this little anvil. Uh, where do I want to go? Probably to the right. It doesn't really matter. But right gives me more options. Four gold, sorry, every gold during navigation is worth four more, or increase my max health, just because I've taken a lot of damage and I've now taken something else that will cause me to take more damage. I'll take health instead of gold. I know me not taking the greedy option. What is going on? I'll try and unlock the treasure chest. I still don't have a, a way of doing this. A lineup, so to speak. What is this? Whenever... A shield is destroyed, gain 5 bulwark. Or pocket watch. Deal extra damage the longer your orbs are in flight. I don't really want to do more damage. I know, this is kind of a weird thing to say. Because I want to stack as much poison as possible and the poison then kills the enemy. So I think I want defensive options. So I'll take the fiery furnace. And it's a new relic. Then do I want to fight the elite? Kind of, yeah. So I'll do it. Is it risky? Yes. Ah, it's the Minotaur with the Magnificent Bust. The ex aco ex I, the name. ex -acerbate, I guess, is meant to be like its name. Isn't going to work right now because they have no debuff on them. However, it's still a 2-5 orb, which is pretty good. However, I think we want to get to the Poison Orb as soon as is humanly possible. Ah, I was hoping that would bounce back up to the Refresh. Whatever, 60 odd damage. Pretty good here. Come on, roll around. Nice, this is a huge amount of damage. Anytime you do 200 damage to the Minotaur, you're feeling pretty good. Anyway, I doubt we're gonna get any poison stacks here. Well, big poison stacks at least. I guess it only applies the poison once anyway on the hit. So, like, hitting multiple pegs doesn't really matter right now. 
As long as I hit a peg, it's the same. You're going to get a hit in. Ow. And you need die. What is this? The Cauldron Bubble. Applies pollution. One. Attacks all enemies. Ah. The Protect Orb gives you Bulwark. And then another pollution Sting. I do like the ability to pierce all enemies. So I'll take the Cauldron Bubble. And again, it's a new orb. It immediately upgrades and hurts me, so I will heal this time for 23, I think. Okay, the, the crit Somalis fleece is just busted. We know it is. Popping corn that will allow me to live. Whenever you would lose health or reduce the amount lost by one, will this apply to my relic? I assume it will. I don't think that's worth it. I think the popping corn is probably better. But it's interesting to know. I'll take popping corn. Even though I don't think it's the best thing there, I think the fleece is considerably better. And I would like the option of fighting another elite here, as dumb as it is. Alright, never mind. <laughs> the game has said no, you fool. All right, let's start stacking some more pollution. We'll discard this. So increase hit enemies debuffs by one. Sure. A little popping corn went through there. Nice, a little bit of extra healing. And I just destroyed the enemy. Let's be frank, we said this before. We need a big health pool enemy to actually get the poison stacks on. So let's not worry about that too much right now. In just general fights. I like it. Okay, no one has got a status effect on them right now, but this is still a pretty good damaging orb. Pop. And we'll take the crit damage. All right, a little bit of overkill there. But sure, whatever. Really, our goal now is, one, to not take damage, but two, to get as much gold as we can. And I guess as much health as we can get. Okay, nice. You're going to die to the poison, I think, before. Yeah, I attack again. Perfect. So this will get instantly upgraded and I'll take damage, but this is fine. We want more pollution options I'd probably prefer to go right here but actually I think the thing that's most important is to get gold okay another battle I'm all for it give me the crit unlock access to the bombs you don't all die sadly You will do fairly soon, though. Oh. <laughs> I like that it doesn't make any noise. It's just... They have a heart attack. Anyway, goodbye to these two bats. I mean, I guess I should just fire the balls out that do the most damage right now. I said it before, we don't need to worry about poison too much. Let's start collecting some gold. And this should just be lethal, right? As long as I hit a peg. Oh, okay. That's another important thing. I wasn't aware that's how that was going to work. I get hit before the poison triggers. Important to know that. Round about. Crit attack is fired backwards from behind the enemy. Okay, I think I know what this means. Do I? So I assume what it means is that if you don't crit, it goes forwards and hits the first enemy. But if you do hit a crit, it'll hit the back enemy instead. It doesn't do what I need it to do. So I'll say no. 
Instead, what I'll do is check this. Increases the debuffs by two. I think it's just best to get the Volution Sting. In fact, I could get both of them, right? No, I can't, because the upgrades cost more. Okay, fair enough. And we definitely want to go right here. But again, I, I value money. I'm, I'm greedy. I can live with this. Okay, we're going left. It's still fine. We get money. All right. Do as much damage as you can. Unlock the bombs. All right. So I put pollution on people. As long as I do 18 damage, I think this is lethal. Can you please stop firing at me? Thank you. Oh, I was hoping to catch that refresh. Okay. It's just chip damage. It's not the end of the world. Okay, the bat is going to hit me and then die. Man, just can't quite get to these bombs either. I should really just knock this peg out in front of me. There's been a thorn in my side. All right, there's the refresh, thanks. Just when I wanted it, right? All right, let's knock the pegs out again. We're still healing a lot, like I'm on 90 health. We don't need to worry too much. This map is weird. I, I think I mentioned this before. You either, or at least I feel like, you either roll through this map or it just chips you away slowly. Like, there's so many times where I've hit like every bomb and just blown up the map. And then there's times like this where I just couldn't get through to them. All right, what are you? Cleave Orb, the Protect Orb. Deals no damage, grants Bulwark for every five pegs hit after attacking. You know what, why not go for both achievements? We're on Crucible 1 after all. It gets an instant upgrade. I'm gonna greed a little bit as well. I'm not gonna heal. The mole is not the hardest of enemies. Definitely better than Slime Lord, but I God hope he's been nerfed. I'll take my gold. Ah, Mole has definitely been changed slightly. Ah, actually, maybe he's not. I think his sprite work is slightly different. He seems like he pops a little bit more. Anyway, let's take this as you pace. I missed the crit. It doesn't really matter. What I will say is my build is somewhat countered by the fact that you want multiple things that can pierce or target the back enemy. I guess I've got the the exacerbate or ex orbacerate. Just the name too confusing. We might actually kill the tree here. If we can get enough poison. In fact, the tree might be a really good target to put 50 poison on. Maybe I should be thankful for fighting the tree. Plus mole. Damn. Oh, you do get little nerds stuck in your way. Okay, I, I need to stop being dumb here. If I can hit the other bomb, I'd be so happy here. All right, we're not. We're going to hit this plant for the poison damage. Come on. Ow. Okay, we want to hit this guy. He has no poison on him, but he still does a lot of damage. I'll take the crit. How did I miss that refresh again? I'll never know. Okay, this is the first time that we can see what Bulwark does. It crashes my game. Never mind, we're, we're good. So it blocks 
the damage that's incoming. I, I've already forgotten. Let me check on the the old notes again for this. Where's Bulwark? Block one damage per Bulwark and Penguin is then removed. Okay, so it's literally like an, an extra health and then it goes away at the end. Cool. All right. God damn it. The plant lived again. All right. Back to poisoning the tree. I'm not going to get 50 poison on this tree, I think, in time. I think the tree will die before I do it. I need a relic that, like, ticks the poison up more and more. What are we on health-wise as well? I was not paying attention to that. Uh, nope. Uh, it's not too bad. Okay, how much? Two. Oh, the tree's dead. Holy moly. A rare occurrence. That'll make my life considerably easier. Uh, where are the refreshes? One is over here and the other one is in a horrible position. Alright. Mole, there's no protection for you anymore. Okay, the plants are some form of protection. I'll give you that. But we're fine. Fortunately, this is Crucible 1, as I said. So, it's pretty easy going. You are dead to the bomb. There's nothing really here that appeals to me. None of you have poison or bulwark. I'll take an upgrade. What do you become? Three to all? And more damage. Let's take this up. I think that's acceptable. And I'll take it up one more time. It's also a pretty good damaging orb. Ooh, every shot has multiple, but attacks get minus two, minus two. Do I care? Because won't this apply poison per orb that goes out now? I, I have to try it. I think that's how that's going to work. This might be the relic... I need it all along. Oh, very nice. They are considerably improved graphics. I am very much pro those graphics. So I'm expecting this to apply four poison to everyone. No, because it does zero damage. I forgot that's how that works. All right, so I've ruined one of my orbs. I've ruined all of my orbs. Help me. <laughs> Help me. It's all gone wrong. That's right, they have to hit. Listen, we can fix this though. We can fix it. Maybe I can get a hundred bulwark instead. How much bulwark? 17. Oh, he doesn't go at the end of the turn. I thought it said it did, but I guess it just goes when it's being used. All right, I misunderstood that. All right, one of you has to find the crit peg, otherwise this does no damage. We're, we're doing a fat load of zero damage. I have to take this. My head. And I'm pretty certain you could never do any damage. Just want to check this is true. Okay, never mind. All right, I've ruined my build. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Yeah. Okay. If I upgrade this, it will do one damage on the crit. 
That is a positive. Where is the nearest shop? Honestly, the relics are the way to go now. I'm going to go left. And I'm not even going to greed for this. If we can get a relic that applies like Must Circle or something, we can get to the point where our orbs will do damage. No, oh, it's not Reflect. Okay, we have to hit a crit along the way. We did it. We're going to do damage this turn. Ow, my face. Let's get some ball walking. And a heal. And 31 block. Okay, we could actually get Bulwark here, I think. Maybe. If we're lucky. Just keep discarding orbs. I kind of want to keep this one, though, because it's the only orb I've got that does damage. Guaranteed. The refresh would have been so nice. Okay, I know this does no damage. In fact, we should just miss. Ah, oh, whatever. Actually, this is fine. We're countering the reflect by doing nothing. Where is my bulwark orb? A mile away. Fantastic. Just what I wanted to see. This does no damage. That's perfect. I can't be reflected. Zero damage. Thank you. Okay, should have used one of those to hit the refresh. Come on, Bulwark. 49. All right, slowly but surely we're getting there. And we can still kill enemies while I do this. In fact, I should be because the reflex is getting pretty spicy right now. Actually, I think we should go for the kills here. I, I've changed my mind completely. I'm getting really frightened that I'm just gonna get one shot by these guys suddenly. Because this is 40 odd damage incoming right now. And I can't discard this again. And I can't miss the... Actually, if I don't hit the crit, I'm fine. I hit the crit, I'm not fine. Ow. Okay, we just... We have to go for the kill. We're not going to get to 100. But no, that is something we could do in the future. Alright, I want my high damaging gobs, please. This is one of them, but you have to hit the crit peg to do anything. But I'll risk it. Because if I don't, it's fine anyway. Right, come on, Bulwark. I'll give you this chance. Take me to 100? No, 65. This is horrible. I should miss the crit. I should try and intentionally miss the crit. I didn't. Ah, uh, the Bulwark will save me. I can't believe how much I've screwed my build up. That Matrushka orb. You always do this. I always hope that you're gonna, you know, be the second coming of my builds. You never are. You always troll my build. At 31, I'll just take this. And you are dead. I ended on full health. What a weird battle. Truly cursed battle. Okay, I don't think any of my orbs upgrading now help me. So I'll just move on. Uh, every gold collected in navigation is worth four, or you have more orb discards. Give me more discard. Dis discards. 
It'll be much more useful for me. I definitely want to go to the right here, so I'm not going to unlock this chest. This is scary. I will admit, very scary. However, I just need the relics. It's as simple as that. Okay, so we can now discard two orbs that do absolutely nothing for me. This stone is going to do, like, negative damage only if it hits the crit. Okay, it's doing very small amount of damage, and it's going to be half because of the shield. Now we have a orb that does damage. But we need to hit the refresh. Find the crit. The bombs will do. We definitely take this one as well. If we can hit a crit, it's not guaranteed. If we can get the crit along the way. Where's the other crit, by the way? Oh, it's inside the shield. We could at least poison every enemy. Oh, we're not going to find the crit. Despair. Oh my god, and he's healing. Despair. damage into the shield. Perfect. Wait, did I get Bulwark for breaking their shield then? Please stop. Okay. One bomb and 14 Bulwark. It's not really good enough, is it? Alright, where's the other crit? The crits are all hidden. Fantastic. All right, we missed all the crits. We do no damage. We hit a bomb and we're doing damage this turn. Can I kill the first enemy? Let's go, we killed one enemy. Crit, please go to the top of the map. Thank you. Okay, this is huge. This is the most damage we've done. All battle. I think I discard twice as sad as this is. Come on, Crit. We have to be able to find you. Thank you. Another big turn of damage. Holy shit, I killed the healers. They're going to... Well, at least these guys are going to die. I'd love to find this bomb, so this damage goes into the big guy, but whatever. Okay, I'm feeling good. We're gonna live. Uh, try and get a crit here to do a little bit of damage. I guess I'll take Bulwark. Okay, there goes my Bulwark. Hopefully, by RNG, we find a crit here to do some damage. And we're out. <laughs> I need some assistance. Grant Bulwark for every eight pegs hit. Do I just become a tank? Sure. I will become a tank. What the hell is this? Whenever you defeat a non-minion enemy, gain one max health. A non-minion enemy. So it's like every time you kill a boss. Bombs can be refreshed, but do less damage. I have to take the rainbow thing because it's a rainbow. It doesn't help me in any way, shape, or form. I should take the bomb thing if I want to win, but winning is not really what I'm after right now. <laughs> Unnecessary greed, by the way. Uh, winning's not necessarily what I'm after. The achievements are what I'm after. Holy shit, that might actually be helpful. 
Minus two, minus two. Actually, it's probably not. Oh my god. I'll take it. Does this make my orbs one zeros now? Please tell me it does. Please. Uh, it sure doesn't. I thought that was the case. They were one twos. I think now they are two twos, which got minus two, minus two, which makes zero, zero. One more damage up though. And then we're, we're good. All right, let's become a tank that can't use his tankiness for damage. How did I do damage then? Does that orb do one zero now? I just don't know what's going on. Oh, the stones do one one. My stones actually hurt people. Nice. All right, that's not how I had that drawn up. I was going for the crit. We found it in the end though. Right, goodbye. First enemy you are obliterated. Then we'll bulwark up again. Then I'll crit. Okay. Thanks to this being Crucible 1, we, I think we actually will live through this till we get to the mines, maybe. Then we need some assistance. Holy shit, this is a 1-1 one, one now. That's actually humongous. I don't need to crit anymore to put poison on everyone. As sad as that is, it's pretty big. Right. Tankiness. Also, hit the refresh, please. Thank you. I need, like, every time the board refreshes, we get Musk Circle or something like that. That would really hit the spot right now. Okay, my one damaging orb. Goodbye to your shield. Actually, goodbye to your health pool. And then you're all dead. What a, a terrible build. Grants one muscle circle when fired. Grants one muscle to all enemies when fired. That seems dangerous. Hang on a minute. What if I make the board swole instead? What if I take damage? Because I have a lot of build around not worrying about damage. What if I take the Arc Accentuate? Surely Swaltop is better. Actually, no, I don't think it is. I think Arc Accentuate might be better. But hang on a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I realized the problem here. Uh, it has to actually hit people, I think, to... Oh, no, it says when fired. The problem is this is going to be a 0-0 zero, zero again. Oh, screw it. It's a new orb. What do you become when you upgrade again? You're a 3 6. It's still just. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll take you up a level. Why not? Do I want another fight? I probably want to go on the left path. Sure, I'll take another fight. Just to see how this works. Oh, it's the map I don't like. Still. Did that count as two fires? No, it doesn't. So all this might not work the way I hope it works. It's also not dawning to me. It's also better to avoid crits now. Holy shit, actual damage. Oh my god, this is a 1-0 now. I repeat, we have a 1-0 orb. Oh, in 
interesting. Well, actually, that makes sense. If you fire into the shield, you don't put the pollution on. Okay. All right, I missed the bomb. Never mind. Calculate it. Shield me, please. And just a single enemy left. We want to avoid the crit. Fuck you, game. We want to hit the crit. I, I honestly deserve that. I mistimed that so awfully. Whatever. The bulwark will protect me. Alright. The run is not safe. Oh my god, sure. Uh, we're about to get a shop. You know what? I'll hold off on this. I might need to buy multiple relics. I definitely prefer to go left. But it's not the end of the world if I go right. Alright. Sure. Sure. Every reload grant must circle. I have to take it. Start each battle with must circle. No, we take this instead because I have too many orbs in my deck right now. We need to remove crit orbs off the board, I think. Uh... <laughs> Do I just want more buckle orbs? Hmm. More refreshes? I mean... Let's honestly just get the stone out of here. And I think I'm going to save my money. None of this is transformative. Short fuse is not good when I'm trying to apply lots of poison. Battle starting with extra gold. You know what? Will that pay for itself? Will I get 10? What is it? I need to hit 50 extra pegs for this to be worth it. I'll take Refiller Buster. It's just going to be some free damage. It's probably not a lot of damage. Because I don't have a refresh energy, but... Uh, okay, you can have a... Is this the one that duplicates or removes? It removes and upgrades the other one, right? Yeah, okay. God, for a second I forgot how this works. Oh, I don't want bricks. So I'll take a fight. Right. So let's go for the book lob. A hundred block. I think that is our game plan now. And if we can start putting more damage onto the board, maybe we can get the poison as well. But I don't think we worry about the poison this second. The AoE though I do worry about. Actually, now that I think about it, the refresh would have been pretty nice. Sorry, the, the board has a one extra reload. On the shop. I think that might have been the better option, even. Oh, interesting. Bulwark blocks the self-damage as well. It's not just incoming damage from an enemy. Okay, I, I killed everything. I didn't mean to. It just happened. Nothing worth upgrading. Uh, I don't think I want another Bolution Sting right now. I think I'm okay with this. I'll take some gold. I'll take one gold, thank you. And a boss. Alright, let's tank up again. How much tanking? Only seven. Better to miss the crit, so I'm aiming for the left side of the board. I think we might hard counter this guy just because of the healing, but let's find out. We scale and we can heal. I'll 
try and put poison on. We, again, definitely want to miss the crit. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Then I want to kill the guy in the front. And now I want to poison again. Nope. Actually, if I hit a bomb, I can. Oh, I hit the crit, so we're going to do no damage. Not optimal is what I'll say this build is. Refresh me, please. Thank you. And we are actually taking damage. I'm not quite healing as much as I was hoping for. Ah, sure. Go for the refresh. And it added more poison on. Oh, I, I don't think I ever know, knew that synergy either. I didn't know the arrow pierced through his own allies. I don't think I've ever let that happen before. Cool. It's not particularly a lot of pegs hit there for Bulwark. Uh, honestly, we should ignore this poison synergy right now. Just because the crit will give it zero damage. You're not ready to fire yet. Right, we will take Bulwark now. Try and block the arrow here. I wonder if you block all the damage if you remove the confusion. Does it actually have to hit you? We're not going to find out, but... Sweet, we missed the crit. <laughs> what a stupid build. And they died to poison. Perfect. Right, orb oration. One merciful, one merciful for every twenty pegs hit. Three damage for every twenty pegs hit. We're making a swall build instead, which is not really any good for me. Every twelve pegs hit heal for one. So, in I'll take three damage but heal one back. So it's actually more like. Two self damage. And it could be one if we hit 24 instead. Heal four and fired, but can only be used once per battle. The refresh of the board every six pegs that are hit. I understand the benefit of that up to 10 times. I understand the benefit of this. I'm going to take neither, though. <laughs> because this is what I want. I want Orb Sustain Flight for longer to get more block. I'm taking Electro Pegnet. This will allow me to get... The dream of hitting multiple pegs to get 100 armor. This is the new boss, by the way. I believe. That looked like a dragon to me. Right, Reflect Lord. Sure, we'll we'll take this. How am I doing 900 damage? What? I should probably take another one of these. And we're going to aim towards, sh basically, shops. I don't know about elites, because Hansi McGee is on this floor, and he scares me. 
But anything that would allow me to remove crit pegs off the board. All right. That's the dream right now. Zero crit pegs on the board. Then the poison synergy will work and the bulwark synergy will work. Uh, again, we're not going to get the poison off in time, so I'm going to choose to ignore it. And we'll take raw damage. You die. Perfect. Ah, screw it. We're probably going to hit a crit here. I can't really control it because of Electro uh, Pegnet. Right, let's see how much Bulwark we can get done here. Not a lot. Nine. All right. Please let me unlock one of the classes. That's all I ask for. Uh, I don't think I want another Bolution. No. Oh, interesting! The bulwark blocks the missed navigation damage. Oh, I've missed the chest. I'm dumb. I'm real dumb, in fact. Uh, I don't care where this goes because I'm not going to take the orb. Uh, we'll skip it. And we're going left, apparently. Scary fight. In theory, Bulwark should be a pretty good counter to it, though. And just being able to heal a lot should be a pretty good counter to it. So, let's go. I got three Bulwark there. Are you kidding me? Alright, go Bulwark. Alright, goodbye Bulwark. How do I realize you're pregnant and you found a gap through the board there? Alright, we need to kill this thing. And yet, Bulwark. I, I just can't. I just can't get enough Bulwark right now. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of intentionally tanking right now. Kind of intentionally tanked a little bit there. What is this? Double Trouble. Multiple one, massive damage on a crit. <sighs> I mean, it doesn't help me. <laughs> Give me more book globs. I'll take a little heal as well, just for safety here. Uh, and I don't really care where I go. Just give me some gold. Thank you. I'll fight Heinzy McGee, I guess. Oh, this is the new encounter. What the fuck are you? Some three-eyed spirit. Moving stones, big pegs. What do the big pegs do? I have to know. Never mind. I get the feeling this is a one-shot enemy because he's taking damage, I think, every time I hit a peg. Oh, they don't get destroyed. It's like pinball in there. Uh, let's ignore that for a second, because I'm scared. Yeah, he takes one damage guaranteed. 
He's going to insta-kill me, isn't he? Please, Mr. Crit. All right, that guy frightens me. <laughs> I don't know exactly what he was up to, but I feel like it was no bueno. Speaking of no bueno, interesting position to put me in. Come on, Buck Lob. A hundred block, please. This is a board full of pegs. How much did we get? Eleven. How much? Twenty-two. I'm doing it. I'm getting block. And it's gone. Forty two. Uh, fuck, I'm going to have to spend some of it. I, I might as well take this. All right, I missed the crit. Fuck, it's so hard. And like that, all my bulwark is gone. Right, screw it, just kill them. At least stop me from taking tons of damage. Wait. I didn't realize this was a different orb. What? <laughs> I'm so oblivious. The protect orb is different from the... The book orb. I'm kind of just firing orbs right now. You may have noticed. My spirit has been eroded by my bad decisions, I have to be honest with you. Uh, okay, these are the same. I keep my money just in case I can buy all the relics in the game. That means, no, I can go to the elite and get to the shop. All right, let's do it. And to McGee, hello. I will bathe in your blood and you'll give me one HP for it. All right. We can do it in this fight. We can get a hundred bulwark, I believe. There are enemies on the screen that we can't see. But this is a long fight. You know what? I, I would still like to actually hurt the enemies a little bit. Oh, interesting. You can't see that they're, they're poisoned. Okay. Book lob me. Nice book lob, genius. Okay, I've cleared out the right side of the map here. I need to get to the left and hit the refreshes. Oh, come on, I, I literally have no block again. There we go. I can't 
killed the thing at the back first. I don't think I've ever done that before either. This is a huge turn. Give me 100 block. You gave me 21. Fifty four is huge. You know what? I shouldn't fire the one that hurts me, should I? That's probably a sensible play. This is great viewing, by the way. <laughs> we can't see what we're fighting. I can't see the pegs. I'm just watching number go up. So the book club doesn't provide as much bulwark as the the protector, but the protector doesn't do damage. That's how it's balanced. So we want more protectors in the deck, arguably. And I should just be aiming for the refresh orbs here. Even though, you know, I can't see the pegs around it. Come on, enemies just keep living. I'll throw a stone and tank my damage. I've got eight! Please. There's at least two enemies left, though. We heard two hits there. But I think that's it. I think there's two enemies left. And that's probably one of them dead, right? Why are all the shields at the bottom? Don't hit the crit, please. Fuck! I'm gonna kill the last enemy, aren't I? Despair. Despair. Right, what are you? Every reload grants, no. Every shot is a crit, no. Upset with five worth of damage. Does that work with... Uh, whatchamacallit? The book clubs and stuff, do you think? I'm gonna take it. I don't want more damage. We definitely want to go right here. Uh, we don't want that at all. In fact, it's perfectly anti-synergistic. I'll take more max health. I don't think I've ever had this much max health in the game. And we 100% want the shop. Even though this will lead me to potentially hand to McGee fight. Alright, what have we got here? Another book club. I'll take it. This is not good. None of these help me do what I want to do. I will remove the final stone from the deck. I guess I'll take a cookie for survivability. There's no more shops after that. Well... Yeah, there's guaranteed no more shops. There's no question mark titles left. So I might as well spend my money. I'll take the unicorn horn. I'll take the refresh shield. I don't like it. Okay. It's gonna be a hard fight to get the shield up on again. Just because there's red bombs here, so it's gonna keep chipping them off me. <laughs> I 
<laughs> and I'm just murdering enemies before I even get a chance to. That's the other downside. Uh, maybe Crystal 1 is not the smartest idea to do this on. I might just be too strong for it. Hmm, nothing there. Again, I think it helps me reach my goal. Honestly, why am I going for gold anymore? It doesn't matter. Alright, it's Handy McGee. He might just kill me. I have a 190 health, though. Right, double discard gives me another book orb. But it's so hard to hit multiple pegs on this map, it's not really mattering. This might actually be a good map to try the poison on. Maybe even go for both. No, we're not going to get the book lob. Ignore that one. Poison is definitely the way to go. And there is a reason to not mix and match because the poison stacks will start decaying too fast. Don't hit the crit. You coward! Come on. Oh, I'm just going to kill him too quickly anyway. Damn, this is so hard. I'm just bursting people down. Sure, I'll take another book low, please. And I'll upgrade it. And I might as well heal. Projectile attacks person is an enemy. Uh, no, and no. All right, great. None of these are really what I want. I guess I'll take the Prime Rod of Frost, because it sounds fun, and it's relatively new. And perhaps the piercing works better than I think it does. Maybe it lets me put enough poison on. Okay, in theory, in theory, we can do this battle, but I need to kill the enemies behind the mirror first, which is pretty hard for me to do. Actually, no, we can kill the mirror. As long as I don't kill the thing at the back, which forces me to target it with abilities, we're good. And then I get a perfect shield pattern in my bag. All right, there goes all of my bulwark immediately. How did every shield go next to one another again? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to obliterate it. All right, more shields. I'll take them. Oh, I can't even upgrade it. It was max upgrade already. Sure. I will say that this fiery... Not the fiery furnace. The perfect forger, I think, is really good. It's... Basically paid for itself, right? I mean, it cost me nothing to pick it up, but... In terms of the HP that I've lost... It saves me like 25 gold at a time. You know what I need? And I don't think I can get it anymore. I need pegs to have durable. Just so I don't clear the board as quickly as I am. And I needed more of the... Not the book clubs, but the... The protect orbs. Because they do less damage and will let me acquire more bulwark. Or I just need a, a huge wave of enemies to come and fight. Because I'm actually pretty close on this one, but I don't think I'm going to get there in time. I think I'm going to kill everything first. Especially when, you know, I hit two bombs. What the fuck is this? Double-edged sword. Uh, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't want spinets. I will just continue. 
And we're fighting the dragon. Please let me put a hundred block on. That's all I ask. Oh my god. You have 10,000 HP. You, you have like a treasure trove of gold. I like it. Is this an upgraded peg? Is that where it says two on it? I think it gave me more money. Oh, and he pulls me towards him. And then he sucks through the bottom. Okay, I see the, the game now. Holy shit, the suck is strong. This is cool. This is a really cool design. So the refreshing is the most important thing for this guy. I'm slightly concerned he's just going to obliterate me as well, but he can't one-shot me, right? Oops, didn't mean to discard that, my bad. You know what? I'll oh, you put fire on the pegs. I assume I take damage when I hit it. Yeah, I heard the damage proc. And then you hit me back. Okay, this is a cool fight. This might be the coolest fight there is at the moment. I really, really like the design on this one. Not sure about the balance because, you know, we're on Crucible 1. But the aesthetics, the, the grandeur behind it is really good. Right, I'm going to purposely discard two orbs here to try and get the bulwark going. Give me the protect orb. I'm at, well, I was at 57. <laughs> the poison is kind of irrelevant right now. I don't think I'll be able to put 50 poison on him. God, it's still hard to put on the bulwark though. And I kind of wish the self-damage went under the bulwark, just to help you stack it easier. Okay, we go down the right side this time. My armor. <sighs> That's not good. <laughs> I'm back to 18. Tremendous. I, I guess the thing that's going to affect the balance of this fight is where the refreshes go. If the refresh went like the center at the very bottom, I imagine this is so heinous to fight. I, I think I'm going to kill this thing before I get 100 Bulwark again. Like, do you see how much damage it just took then? It was crazy. I'm now actually just taking damage damage. I really need to hit a refresh. Oh, I'm gonna get sucked to hell. There we go. I really need it just to sit on top of the tower, right? The stack. I think that's the way I get the most value. But it's hard to predict with the unicorn horn because I've got the split. Of Matryoshka. Is that what's causing me problems here? Matryoshka? It was Matryoshka all along. Okay, 
Protect Orb. We can do it, buddy. Find the refresh. He didn't find the refresh. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty certain there's no way I unlock the new classes. I, I think my body has now accepted it. I've been thinking, is there a way for me to somehow cheese this? It's doing more and more damage over time. There's only one of my orbs, the Protect Orb, that's really actually stacking the Bulwark. I think these book clubs are just not good enough for it. Like, they're nice to put a little bit of extra on, but... They, they simply just don't cut it. They don't cut the mustard. Like, that was okay. It was 19. But then one gets sucked to hell. This one's gonna give me, like, you know, two. Maybe if the refreshes are unbelievably lucky, we could do it. But now he's gonna hit me. I'm gonna go for it. Come on, protect orb. Oh, not on the left side! I just can't get a good protect orb off, and I need to. How much is the fire doing to me now? Is it still doing like one damage? Oops. I say oops. There's not really a lot I could do about that. Two damage. Like, that is a horrible place for the refresh orb, by the way. Right at the bottom. Right in the center. At higher crucibles, I imagine that is going to just be the killer for this fight. In fact, you might even have to aim at some point just to get something that can move the the refreshers around. Okay, probably my not my last cycle, but we're, we're probably two cycles away now from being able to try and get this bulwark thing. Maybe there's some relics as well that help you get it. It's not just going to be orb dependent. Like something that every time you, you know, you gain bulwark, you get one more of it. That'd go a long way. All right, there goes all of my bulwark again. No, we're not even going to get another cycle. He's on 200 health. In fact, he's going to die here, I think. Not quite. But he died for the refresh. Okay, we got an achievement, at least, for killing the dragon. But I didn't get an unlock. God damn it! <laughs> Uh, how do you see the, uh, except, how do you see the achievements on this? Do you just see it on the achievement page? Principle 12, uh, no, all right, thanks. How do I see the achievement page? It's not in the credits. All right, I'll just go to the Steam page then again and look at my achievements. So I'm missing four achievements in this game. Uh, 50 sacks of pollution, 100 bulwark. I think I've never died during an event scenario, and I've never put Bramble 6 on an enemy. Interesting. In one battle, man, that is tough. I was looking at the percentage of people that have done it 0.4 and 0.3, so I guess others are having problems as well. Anyway, that'll do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like and subscribe? Everything else me out. And I'll see you on the next ta uh, episode where we try and do this again. <laughs> Goodbye.